Greetings to you. This is Arisin with Atoll Web Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Portena. And the beautiful part about it is that we are going to use a Portena to provision a WordPress web application. So if you're ready, and I am ready, let's begin. So I already have Docker installed on my web server. As you can see, this is the client Docker ng, and this is the server Docker ng. As well. So, if you're wondering how to install Docker, I have a video in the description below on how to do that. All right. So, with that being said, to install Portina is very easy to do. So, the first thing that you need to do is to create a volume. So, Docker volume create. What is the name? So Portina underscore data. Perfect. So we can verify it by saying Docker volume. If I could spare volume, Alex. So as you can see, my Portina volume, which is Portina on Portina underscore data, is up and running. So the next thing is to spin up the container. So I just want to quickly paste in this command here. Yeah? So we're basically saying docker container run in a detached mode. The name of the container is Portena. And we are supposing ATA as our port. And our star flag is always. And we are mapping our socket to the host. And also this is the name of our volume. So we're mapping it to our data. So and this is the image name, which is Portena Portena. So now is to eat the enter body button. So let's go. And boom, we are done. So now we can verify that by doing Docker. Docker container LS. As you can see, our container is up and running. So now we can visit. Let's see, so this is my public IP, and uh, boom, we are up and running. So my super secret password, I don't want to say it, and great user, local, so I want to manage the local Docker environment, so connect, and boom, this is Portina up and running. And uh, as you can see, we have just one container running, which is this, Portena. So now it is time for us to provision our web, our WordPress web application. So to do that, you need to click on App Templates and CMS. And this is the WordPress. So the name, we want to call this WordPress. And our root password one two three four five six, and deploy. Perfect. So we are up and running. So if I should click on the stack, which is WordPress, we have our. In our container, so we have um, the database as well as the WordPress. So we can actually visit it by clicking on the, this. So actually, we need to, you know, we need to grab our public IP and replace it with this. And perfect. This is WordPress up and running. So testing, testing, and the username. Oh, the root a uh, password. This is my super secret password. Yes, I want you to use this and test at gmail.com and install. And boom, we are up and running. And as you can see, our WordPress is up and running, and we can as well go to the back end and root. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
and voila so this is our web this is our wordpress website up and running as you can see it is very easy to use portina to provision a container i hope this video helped you to install wordpress and if you don't mind just leave a comment below and like this video coming up next it's i don't know about i'm gonna come up with a, a very powerful tutorial next bye and see you in my next video